So coming back from England and growing up here in the 30s and 40s and 50s, what do you think as a Canadian that we only have one theatre named after an artist? Well, I think it's absolutely ridiculous, but... Well, what is it going on with this, Arabi, that but you see, they we want only have one theatre uh, named after an artist? Right. And um, now, they haven't done the Blue Appell over, but they certainly did the Town Hall over. And I was... It was while I was in, uh, uh, here. And, um, you know, they were going to change the name. They need more money. So I just went to Jim Rowe, who was the manager, and I said, I can, you know, I can get the whole... Thing to close you down, <laughs> or not quite, you know, but I've got a whole phalanx behind me and you can't change it. And he said, no, 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 it would be wrong to change it. The Jane and Mallet Theatre. The Jane Mallet Theatre. Yeah. I don't know where they got their money from, but they certainly didn't get it from somebody who changed the title of right. the theatre. Then they did the Bluma. Then the uh, town hall had to be done. So and this is the Bluma when they needed, they were doing the renovations and they needed an extra bit of money to complete the renovation well, it's of the not. Saint no, I think I think they used it was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. They did a hell of a lot of renovations for that. They may have needed some more, and they may have got it from the city or something. Yeah, but this is the main the the main. Uh, oh, I don't know what Bluma did. Yeah, I just know that. Uh, there was a multi-million was, dollar renovation that went on St. Lawrence Center of the main theater, and they needed a top-up. Oh, up, yes, right, And Bloomer right, came in yeah. with a top-up, and thank God for right. that. And for that, she got the theater the, named after, after her. After her, yeah, because and some he, people said, you know, well, that's wonderful, but she did give a small portion, and the rest was public right. money. Uh, and that debate was there, and we got right. less Bloomer because so she's a great So then the patron, next one was uh, the renovation that had to be done in the town hall, which is the other theater. Right. And um, it was to be, I think it was a shoe company, but it wasn't bad a shoe. And Herbie phoned me and said, the deal's gone through. I said, because everyone said, you know, why don't we name him after? Oh, well. So, so the, this was, the town hall theater was going to be named after a company? Yeah. And it would be the bad issue. It wasn't bad. It, was, it right. wasn't bad issue, I don't think. But it was a shoe company. It would be known like the O'Keefe Center, the shoe company. So... Um, I went down and said uh, to, went to, or wrote to the mayor or whatever, first anyway, I got, it was Art Eggleton, and he said, oh, don't be ridiculous. I said, you know, why? Well, who's ever heard of, you know, who knows any of the artists? You can't name it after an artist. Wrong thing to say to me. <laughs> I said, okay, can, and I, can I meet with the council? And I took Herbie Whitaker and Pauline McGibbon, who accompanied me. They sat down, and I went to all the counselors, and you know, and I said, "How much do you need?" Well, I mean, come on, we'd need two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I said, "Okay, if I get it, is that all right? Will you name it after an artist?" And well, I don't think you know. so. It goes around the council, and I think it was Michael Walker. When it came to him, said to Art Eggleton, if you're offered $250,000 from the arts community, you would be an ass to turn that down. And, well, well, and I said, oh, okay, and we shook hands on it then and there, yes, and Art Eggleton didn't waver on that because there were people that said it was ridiculous and whatever. We nickeled and dimed that $250,000 from the artists here. We had the artists' names on seats, we had doors, we had, and got the, sometimes the public, you know, Peter Muse is a door, and um, somebody that adored him put the money, uh, we had prices for all this, and Nathan Cohen got the John in the men's John <laughs> downstairs. That was the Nathan Cohen John, that I remember. <laughs> but we had, um, and then I kept saying, but you know, all the artists, people sit and look in the chair and it says um, Wilf Pegg or whatever it says on it. And they say, who's that? So we have to have something. And I had a computer in the lobby and you could go up and they said, you know, it's going to be so awful. There'll be paper all over the place. No, it was a, an eight by 10 sheet saying what that artist had done and every 
every artist in Toronto, every actor or director or whatever, was on some seat somewhere, and we had bios for all of them. And they absolutely disappeared. 